brothers, I get a euphoric feeling when I see a brother start from humble beginnings and climb to reach his goal. Uh, I get more excitement out of the process of seeing the process than I do seeing the end goal. Uh, it's just something about creating that uh, warms my heart, warms my spirit, and gets me excited. I love creating. I love seeing brothers create because I know how challenging it can be to finish what you started. And I know how brothers can get distracted, uh, get overwhelmed, lose confidence uh, in the middle of creating, in the middle of uh, their trek. So knowing that and to see a brother beginning, uh, beginning in humble beginnings, and then working his way through all the challenges I may or may not see. I'm just knowing what it takes to create and then seeing, it, seeing him um, acquire what he set his eyes on. Man, that's a beautiful thing. And I see a lot of people that don't finish what they start because they get more excitement and uh, they get more joy out of the prize. They're in love with the prize and they're not in love with the process. Let's get into it. Get your glasses up, get your glasses up, a toast to the men. Brothers, this past weekend, I went to a cigar lounge to help celebrate my brother, Roger Smith's uh, birthday, uh, his 50th birthday. And, uh, you know, this brother, he's older than me, uh, but we grew up in the same neighborhood. Uh, just give you guys some feedback on, on how we met. We grew up in the same neighborhood, went to the same school, but he's older than me, so I didn't go to school with him. But my, my brother, my oldest brother, and my sister did. So he knows them very well. He really didn't know me because there's a, a five-year age gap. Uh, but around three years ago, he was seeing me push the book, A Toast to the Man. And I was seeing him uh, pushing a couple of products, uh, a dietary supplement. And uh, he had a T-shirt company. I saw him pushing both of those things. And so without us really knowing each other or knowing each other at all, we were appreci appreciating each other from afar on social media, on Facebook. Now, I can't remember if I reached out to him or he reached out to me, uh, whatever the case uh, may be. We made contact with one another. And um, from there, man, we just started building. Uh, we had an appreciation uh, for one another. We started building. Uh, he's spoken at a couple of events I've had. And, uh, you know, he's brought me in on a couple of things also. Now, when me and this brother became acquainted with one another, he was uh, pushing a dietary supplement, uh, CBD-based uh, supplement for another company. So something like MLM, right? A multi-level marketing uh, infrastructure, right? And uh, he, he wanted me to get into it, but I've never been a fan of those things ever. I, I, my mom has gotten involved in that stuff. I've never been a fan. I really don't like a, a middleman, you know. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I've been like that since I was a, a youngster. I've been like that. I don't like a middleman. And I always feel like, man, why do I need a middleman? If they can do it, I can do it. Uh, that's just how I feel, right? Uh not saying that's right or wrong. That's just me. So I didn't get involved in that, but me and his brother just kept building, you know. Uh, like I said, he, he's spoken at a couple of events of mine. He said he wanted to get into public speaking. That's what I wanted to get into. And so we, we're just building, right? 
Now, about a year ago, he branched off and started his own CBD brand, supplement brand, where they sell the gummies, the, the liquids, uh, gums, uh, lollipops, ointments. Man, they sell everything. Uh, they got some low end or 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 uh, not as potent CBD. And they got some high quality, high potent CBD. But he has a brick and mortar shop um, out in Turo, Texas, and is doing well. Man, it's classy. It's a classy building inside and out. And his brother is the ultimate professional. I saw that brother when we met. He had a middleman, he was the, or he was the middleman, I guess, uh, for MLM company. He branched off and started his own thing. And I saw him, uh, initially, he was working in that building uh, for someone else. He was pushing their product. And then uh, they moved, I think, to Florida, and uh, he, he bought off the building. And he started pushing his own product, his own brand, his own business. And now it's his. It's his business. It's his brand. Uh, he's doing well. And uh, I think I think he may be coming up on a year or over a year now in that in that building. And to see that brother like start from where he started, and to see where he is now, and man, this is just. You know, the tip of, not even the tip of the iceberg, man. Uh, this brother is going to do some huge things. But just to see the process, man, that's a that's a beautiful thing. Uh, because although he hasn't shared all the challenges with me, I just know what it is and what it takes to start a business, uh, to finish what you started. I just know what it, what it can be, man. The distractions with family, uh, money, space, time, energy, you know, uh, things within yourself, questioning yourself. Can I do it? You know, am I good enough? Do I have what it takes? Is this meant to be? So for him to go through all that and, you know, he didn't tell me this, but I just know what, what happens when you're creating something especially when you're the pioneer of something within your family or your community. I know what it can, what it can be, what you could be facing. So for him to do that and to see, you know, that he, he acquired what he set his mind to, man, that, that's a beautiful thing. And I told that brother this weekend, I'm proud of him. You know, I told him this in front of a couple other people. I'm proud of him, and, and I am. Man, that, that's motivation uh, to see something like that. Uh, that's a beautiful thing, man. You know, it's not often you get to see the process, right? A lot of times we meet people um, once they've reached their goal. You no, know, once they've acquired things, we we meet them, or we meet people that don't finish things. But to see the process, man, you got to respect that. You got you got to appreciate that that you you have the fortune to see the process. Uh that's a that's a lovely thing. That's a beautiful thing, man. And uh yeah, yeah, I noticed I noticed I first noticed I love seeing the process of creating with my oldest brother. Uh, I saw when he was married to his first wife, humble beginnings, they were staying with my mom, uh one car, bickering and fighting all the time. Uh, he was working at a job he didn't want to be at. She was working at a job she didn't want to be at. Oh man, it was it was uh you know it was stressful and, and uh, they were young, but uh, they worked and worked and uh, <clears throat> created and created and got into real estate eventually. Something they both wanted to do. Uh, did it big in real estate. They saw them build a, a you know almost a million dollar home. Uh, from ground up. Uh, so, I, I mean, I saw it. I saw my brother catching rides to work uh, with his manager. I saw, you know, my brother uh, getting suits 
for free from deacons because he's preaching also, getting free suits from deacons because he couldn't afford a, a decent suit. I saw all that and I saw the process uh, to where they, you know, what they acquired, you know, uh, that was a beautiful thing. And uh, I love the process, man. And you have to fall in love with the process if you want to acquire anything. It, it, it's like, uh, it's like a race, you know, a race where there's going to be challenges, uh, whether it's a marathon or, or a sprint, you know, you're going to face some challenges and only the strong survive. And if you're not in love with the process and only in love with the prize, you will be distracted. You will lose hope and, and uh, your self-esteem, you know, will get chinks in it because you're going to face some things where your situation looks bleak, where it looks dark, where it looks like, man, this isn't meant to be. Why did I get into this? I look like a fool. And so if you're not in love with the process and only in love with the prize, you're going to stop. You're going to quit. And so uh, embrace the process, embrace the pain, embrace the darkness, you know, embrace that. It's all joy. You know, it's all joy. It's lessons learned, um, you know, builds character. It builds up your testimony. You know, anytime I'm going through something, you know, to keep a positive mind, a positive mindset, I tell myself, man, this is going to make my testimony so potent when I come up out of this thing. And that keeps me focused and, and keeps me in love with the process and not so focused on the prize. So, uh, yeah, yeah, brothers, you know, think about that, man. Embrace the pain, embrace the darkness, embrace that hard work, embrace the sweat and tears, you know, the agony. Embrace it with joy. With joy, man. Go through it with joy. Knowing, man, your testimony is going to be so potent. You know, when you, you, you start speaking and, and sharing your story with people, it's going to help them and they're going to be able to reflect on what you told them when they encounter those tough times. All right. Hey, let me know what you think in the comments, brother. As usual, love, peace.